Hey folks, welcome to module two. In this module, our expert will be covering marketing on Twitter and YouTube. So get ready to take some notes and let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we're going to do a brief overview of Twitter in this lesson as well as YouTube. Now, once again, as I said in the previous lesson, two things. Number one, these are brief overviews. These are not super deep into the weeds. We have other courses and lessons that cover each of these platforms individually. And number two, we're not going to be getting into paid advertising. We have an, another course that covers paid advertising on Twitter, which is a very powerful, powerful tool. However, the focus here is on organic marketing, using Twitter without paying any money for organic, just natural marketing results. Now, Twitter is pretty powerful, but there's some things you need to understand about Twitter, okay, that make it different from Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on. First off, Twitter is a news or events broadcasting channel. That's its primary purpose. Okay, now people use it for, you know, goofy personal stuff all the time. So when I say news, I don't necessarily mean, you know, official serious stuff. What I mean is more along the lines of the nature of the posts themselves. You're going to get updates on what people are doing or on what businesses are doing. Okay, you're going to get short, sweet broadcasts. That's what it's all about. Short and sweet. You've probably used Twitter before or you've seen tweets before. You know that they're around 140 characters. Sometimes there's videos, sometimes there's images. So it's all about little updates, little bits of content that keep your audience in the know about what they need to know about or what you want them to know about. So a good Twitter profile is going to be updated regularly, like on a very, very consistent and regular basis. Twitter is one of those things that people expect to see, you know, at least weekly, preferably daily broadcasts and updates. And the thing is, Twitter feeds are so saturated, so jam-packed because of how bite-sized everything is and how regularly and frequently people post, that if you're not tweeting on a daily basis, people are going to forget you exist. So the only way to make sure that your stuff is seen by your audience is to make sure that you are operating at a pretty high frequency yourself. So when you post to Twitter, you can expect interaction in the form of replies to your tweets, likes, and retweets. That's primarily where you're going to be seeing. Now, if you're thinking, I don't really have the type of business that has, you know, multiple times per day or, you know, every, even every day broadcast worthy stuff, what you can do is utilize Twitter as a platform where you're sort of saying, hey, look, and you're bringing people's attention to content published elsewhere. Okay, and it doesn't even have to be content that's published to that day. Let's say you have a blog and you publish a post. Twitter can just be the place where you tweet with an image saying, hey, check out our latest blog post. Okay, or you have a Facebook post. Boom, send people there. Or you put out a new YouTube video. Embed it in a tweet or send people via link to a page, a landing page where you have a new offer and so on and so forth. Even go backwards if you want into interesting content. Run a promotion for an old blog post if you want via Twitter. Okay, so you can use Twitter as sort of a hey look, you know, platform where you send people to other content and Twitter's primary purpose is just to get eyeballs on that content. That's, that's one strategy that you can use if you don't really have, you know, typical Twitter worthy content churning out every single day. So there's some important stats that you want to monitor on Twitter. Obviously, you want to increase your followers. That's the most obvious thing. Uh, you've also got how many people you're following. You've got likes and lists and moments. Okay, now let's look at an actual active Twitter profile, because that one just now was just a, a demo profile. This is Diana Anderson, and she engages in what looks like some network marketing, some affiliate marketing, and she's got a business where she teaches other people to find success online. As you can see, she's got her profile pretty squared away. She's got a banner for her Twitter profile, okay, with a very clear, uh, unique selling proposition here. She's got uh, some hashtags, okay, that'll uh, bring her some more organic traffic. She's got a link. Now, you could put just a regular uh, website link, you know, your homepage or something like that. You could put a landing page. In her case, she's got a link going to what seems to be sort of a, an all-purpose landing page, a here's what I have to offer kind of a landing page so people can follow her on Facebook or check out, you know, some of these other uh, products or services. You'll notice she's got a lot of tweets, a pretty sizable following, lots of followers um, and likes. And if we scroll down, you'll see she's got a good mix of content, okay? So uh, let's see, we've got photos, we've got little memes, we've got the, uh, you know, the occasional embedded video here. 
and we have got an example of what I was talking about earlier. In this case, she's got a Facebook post that she posted to Facebook, but she's using Twitter to bring eyeballs to it. You see that? Same thing going on here. Over here, she's sharing uh, useful YouTube content, right? This one up here seems to be a promotional tweet where she's promoting a product or a service. And looks like you can actually sign up for a webinar on this page. So she's got a pretty good mix of content, and that's what you should aim for as well. Some organic, you know, good quality information content, as well as a little bit of promotional stuff so that you, you know, utilize it as a marketing engine to get some ROI of some sort. So now that we've covered Twitter briefly, so you have a general idea of how to use Twitter in organic marketing, let's go over to YouTube. So we're going to look at a couple of examples here. In this case, we've got a YouTube channel for a reputation management software. Okay, and this one, it's a little bit old, it's not very active, um, but what you can see here is that they've got a bunch of videos that are probably not intended for internal, inside of YouTube marketing. Okay, if you look at these videos, you'll look at the... Uh, so we wanted a new way to deal... So there's the promotional video there. Let's click on Analytics. You'll notice there's not a whole lot going on in the way of likes or comments on these videos, okay? And the reason for that is what a lot of companies are doing is using YouTube purely as a video host, okay? They're embedding their videos on their websites, and so you're not really going to get anything in the way of YouTube interaction levels, likes, comments, subscriptions, that sort of thing. Now, the other tack is to actually utilize YouTube as social media platform, meaning you actually want people who are on YouTube.com to find your videos, to subscribe to your videos, to get notifications about your videos, to interact by liking and commenting and so on and so forth, to see your videos in the related videos column and all that good stuff. So that is what we'll take a look at in a moment. First, I just want to look at the analytics page really quick to show you the type of stuff you need to be keeping track of, okay? Watch time is super important for your videos, okay? Uh, views, obviously, pretty important. Um, but one thing that I want you to notice here is this video is super long, okay? And look what happens to the audience retention. Drops off within the first, look at that, four seconds, nine seconds, drops down to 50, okay? By the time you're uh, less than a minute in, you're already down to 20% viewership. So make sure your videos, when you're making videos, are uh, you know compelling enough and that you get a unique selling proposition out there in the first few seconds. Otherwise, your viewership just drops. Okay, I mean this is this is terrible retention here. And uh, again, if you look at uh, things like you know likes and dislikes, you're not going to see a lot of that because this business is obviously utilizing YouTube purely as a video host to embed their stuff. But let's go look at an actual active YouTube channel that's actually leveraging YouTube as a social media platform. This one is Niches Be Crazy, and this is an awesome, awesome YouTube channel. So this guy has got a ton, okay, Uncle Phil Lopez here, a ton of content that he puts out, and it's all about utilizing YouTube as a marketing engine. He's not just posting videos here uh, for the purpose of hosting them and then embedding them elsewhere. He's actually actively engaged in organic marketing. So have a look at his profile here. He's got an awesome banner image. Okay, he's got uh, little links here where you can uh, hook up with him on his website or his blog and other social media platforms. Okay, he's got subscribers. He's got video views. Let's click on one of these here. This one here seems to be a... So this one seems to be a review video for some type of a product, and the product's called Affiliate Oracle by Adam Payne. And basically, um, you're, what you're going to encounter, maybe not initially, um, but what you'll eventually encounter here is an affiliate link. So if we click on that, we'll come over here to the review. And I don't know if this is a good or a bad review, but clearly you've got a buy button here. And if you look down in the bottom left corner, that's a pay kickstart link. So it's an affiliate link. So he's engaged in affiliate marketing, right? And he's getting uh, traffic to his YouTube videos, 100, uh, 115 views there just in the last uh, week. And he is... Uh, leveraging YouTube itself as a marketing engine. As you can see, he's got comments here. So he's got likes, he's got views, and he's got comments happening, interaction 
happening, okay? Thanks for the review, etc. Thanks for the good review, Uncle Phil, etc. So this guy's got an actual audience. Okay, he's got actual... Let's, I'm going to change that frame so it doesn't look like he's picking his nose there. But I think. <laughs> uh, you'll also notice he's branded himself. That's huge in YouTube marketing. Watch this. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can do that, guys, for a pretty low amount of money on Fiverr, okay? Or if you use uh, Adobe After Effects, you can go on uh, you know, Video Hive and, and download templates where you can do some pretty cool logo reveal stuff. You really want to build a brand. If you're going to be utilizing YouTube as a social media platform, you want a brand so that people recognize your name. Uh, look, he's got, uh, he's got hashtags here as well, uh, which I did not notice previously. But you want people to understand who you are and to think about your videos, and in this case, they probably think about reviews by um, Niches Be Crazy when they're looking at other products, which means they might actually actively seek him out and come to his channel to see if he has reviewed a particular product, in case he'll get some commission. Now, uh, let's have a look at another video here. This was a, uh, this looks like it was a live stream. It says streamed live on February 26th, so that's cool. Definitely make use of uh, video streaming software. Um, you know, the thing with YouTube is it will place higher in search engine results and related video results and so on and so forth. It'll give more reach and exposure to videos that are live just because they've, you know, they've, they've made their algorithms do that. Um, let's have a look here at his description. So his description is, let's see, not super keyword heavy in this case uh, because this is a content video it's not a uh, a product review video so there's no specific product names but he does have some links uh, with call to actions okay so he wants you to go watch this video here um, at the end of this video he mentions a uh, product and so here's a link to uh, his review for that which is looks like affiliate oracle again and he's got a subscription link here so a lot of calls to action and then he's also got this is very important affiliate disclaimer okay make sure you're covering your butt when you're doing affiliate marketing out there and you've got a, an affiliate disclaimer uh, let's come back to the original video here and you'll see that this one is a little bit more um, keyword rich okay uh, so you've got the product name in there multiple times you've got the vendor name in there multiple times right so when somebody's out there looking for uh, affiliate oracle or any other product they're going to be likely to come across a video that ha is keyword rich in its, in its description now you can't see tags i think there was a time way back in the day where you could see other people's tags you can't see tags on this video but make sure you're utilizing tags um, when you're posting your videos and uh, we can assume that this one probably has tags such as you know the product name and the vendor name okay because you really want your videos if you're using youtube.com as an actual social media platform you want to increase your organic reach and you want to increase your ranking for search terms when, when somebody clicks up here and searches for something like you know affiliate oracle review so that's a very uh, quick brief overview of using youtube for marketing guys hopefully that was useful uh, we covered twitter as well in the next lesson we're going to be covering linkedin and pinterest